Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mitch and Jerome here, back with Dinos. Yeah, buddy. This hey, is Mitch. episode eight. Yeah, what's that, Jerome? This looks like one mean disco floor. Disco? This doesn't look like a disco floor at all. It's all out of iron, you bum. But, but. Disco's it's got my like... moves are so hot, it just burn a hole through the floor. Wow, that's probably true. But a disco floor is usually like 80 million colors with a shiny ball hanging from the ceiling. But anyways, we're back. This is Dino's episode 8. And uh, if you didn't remember, last time from episode 7 yesterday, which was for us about a week ago when we recorded it. About uh, a week ago. Uh, oh, you got all these arrows? Dude, you didn't. I just fired all of them. That's all I had. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought we were going to have a little party here, a little, a little shindig, but that's okay. But anyways, like I said, we, um, we discussed that we were going to... Do a little bit of work on the trans. Oh, what the? <laughs> what? what? Did you just? What? Where did this? What's wrong, where... bitch? Where did this witch just come from? What are you talking about? She was in all the time. You didn't see her? Oh my gosh! Well, what's wrong? <laughs> I'm dying. I'm poisoned. My soul is poisoned. Anyways, Dino Uh Yes, last episode from yesterday, we talked about the T-Rex cage and how we were going to do a lot of the work here. And you agreed to let us do some stuff in creative because, well, it would be really boring to have to mine a bajillion iron. So we've given ourselves 64 more iron blocks. We're going to plant some of these down here at the beginning, get the, um, the floor, the base of this sort of in line a little bit more. And then, Jerome, what's the game plan after that? Well, from there, hopefully, I guess we're going to tend to the dinos that we have in our cages, maybe do a little bit of home renovations, and just pretty much get ourselves set up, maybe make actually a few more analyzers if possible as well, because it's going to take a while to sift through all of them to get that T-Rex DNA, but between episodes, we're going to put a bunch in there, and we're going to hopefully next episode get the DNA for the T-Rex, so it's going to be fun, it's going to be fun. It's going to be real funky fresh, and then we can turn that baby into an egg and... Well, send him here to his, his brand new home. But I think we, we still need more iron blocks. I'm out of blocks again. This is why it's so crazy. Because you need to make the cage huge and you literally, the, 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 the guides are very clear that it needs to be iron blocks or bars. But we've done it with bars before and it didn't work. So we're going to do blocks this time around. Yeah, I mean, this is just ludicrous amount of work. So thank you guys for being okay with us, you know, creative mode and in that iron. Dad, on, because we don't want to have another problem like we always do. <laughs> yeah, oh god, every time we get a T Rex, he just instantly breaks out. All right, well, how's this little guy doing? Let's check. Oh, I actually need food. another Dinopedia before I can even do that. He's got. He's all about. Oh god! Wow, he tried to make a mad dash. All right, he's got. He's two days old, our Galimamus, and you're his owner. You order him with a stick. He's he's looking good. He's full health, full hunger. He's in good shape. I'm, I'm gonna get out of here now, real quick. He's like a big dog. Look at him. <laughs> One weird looking dog. That's like a big turkey. Least, looks like all the dogs I've ever owned. <laughs> Alright, let's check on our our Bacchosaurus over uh, here. Oh Bacchosaurus, he needs apples. And he is uh he's actually a little bit hungry. He's got why did he take damage? He's got twenty nine or thirty three health. I think it's just because he grew bigger and his HP bar went up. He's three days old. Oh, that's right, the Bacchosaurus can eat sugar, right? He eats sugar, apples or cookies. Uh, we gotta get him some. There we go. Oh, we got some sugar down here, Mitch for box source. Oh, good, good, good. Our farm's looking fresh. Um, we got sugar cane down there. That's true. I'm just trying to think. What else do we need? Drum, you should make yourself full iron armor at some point soon too. Make me. Make you? I'll make it for you if you'd like. No, no, please. But actually, though, I should be. I should go make myself a Dinopedia this episode. It's kind of sad that you have the only one. No, Drum, your Dinopedia is right here. No, I purposely lose it every episode. I found it. <laughs> Last time we put it in a furnace, now we put it in a random chest. Yeah, I still don't know why I did that, by the way. That was a little weird. <laughs> All right, let's check these supplies here. I don't need the, the come suck on this store, so I don't need that one. And uh, oh, no, That's the best one. It is, it is one of my favorites. Oh, we do have more uh, We do have more biofossils being analyzed here. Let's see what else we got. We got a Brachiosaurus and a Ankylosaurus again. Let's see what's in these guys over here. This Lots of bone meal. This Brachiosaurus cage, we should probably level it out. Or do you want to keep it on level? Because it just kind of looks more, you know. Um, Let me come take a look, Skidoodles. It's hard to tell. I mean, I like it, but at the same time, I don't. Let's check. Let's check. I mean, we don't have to do too much work, fortunately, because no matter how big he gets, he'll still listen to us. So. With a stick. With a big old stick. <laughs> oh, it takes a little whipping. Oh, Jerome, no, we're not, we're not going to do that to our poor dinos. But we will, if we have to. <laughs> hey, <big laughs> All right, guy. here, take your book back. Book? Okay. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll have to ride him one day like a horsey. 
Okay. Now let's check out. Let's check hey, out our. Miss, uh, by the way, I got a, I got a pet packs. as well. I'm about to get. What pet? Well, you'll see. Uh, that's kind of terrifying. I, whenever you say things like that, I don't really know how to respond. Do you have any bones? Um. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we do. Oh, no reason, Mitch. No reason at all. Um. No do you have a Do you have a wolf? No, I'm just gonna go farming. Farming. Go farming. What do you need to farm for? Farming for wolves. I ran out of bones. That's all. <laughs> you suck. How do we? He used more than he just ate six of them. <laughs> now we have a wild, untamed wolf just sitting in our house. Uh, well, you wait in there until we get more bones. Drum, I think we have more bones. No, I, I ate them all. Check. Did, oh, I have. I have one. Drum, I have one bone on me. Ready? Yeah, pass it over. Love me. Ah, oh, he didn't love me. All right, man. She's gotta stay there then. Keep the door closed till we find more bones. I think this is this is the quest. This is the mission. I think there's bones in one of these chests back here. No bones there. What about the back chest behind our house? Oh, bones for days. Really? Yeah, stack and then some. Oh, perfecto. Would Tame. you like him to be your friend? I don't care as long as you sit him in the corner. He's just gonna be like an ornament. Ah, <laughs> oh, he loves me. Follow love me. me, love me, say that. We need to get another one and then breed them. Why doesn't he? Oh, we could do that. Hey, I'm gonna blow. I'm gonna blow there my magic. Perfect pump. pump. I got it, Mitch. Bum 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 bum. Oh, we need to get a plesiosaur. Do we have any of these? A who do what what dinosaur? Yes, I want one of these because then I can blow the magic conk. Oh, that's cool. But we don't have a cage spot for him. I I don't even know what kind of a dino he is. It might be a water one. Who knows? Oh, we got a triceratops egg and another galimamus egg, and I'm gonna give us two palilosauruses. Oh, like those, those guys. Are. Yeah, the, the water ones. I think they are. They look yeah, like it. Yeah, play those Ooh, that could be a fun one. I'm going to I'm gonna make a cage for him right now. Or by cage, I mean I'm going to make a pit. A pit. <laughs> At least start of the pit. This might take a little bit of here, time. Here, do you want... Uh, here, I'll make, you, I'll make us some diamond shovels and we can get to town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like a good idea. Because trust me, these things take a while to dig out. Remember the last one I made for us? Yeah. Oh, we had, we had lots of sticks. Let me just take these. There we go. And... Boom shakalaka, it's dang a lang tam, here you go. Uh oh. And do you have levels, Jerome? Do you have XP levels? Only three. Oh, cool. Enchant our shovels. Okay. Bum, Give bum. us the magic. I got efficiency one and efficiency one. Take your hey, pick. Which one? Efficiency uh, I'll one take, or one? Uh, can I take efficiency one? Is that on the menu? No, you actually can't. That's that's the only I that was very clear, <laughs> that's the only one I didn't have. Alright, alright. Jeez, Mitch. Where, where are we digging this pit? Or do we just flood the ravine? Nah, that'd be crazy. That'd be too much hard. That'd be way harder. That uh, would pro probably wouldn't work out. Something would go wrong somewhere. <laughs> Uh-oh, zombies. It's okay, I got a lucky sword. It's okay, I have Betty, too. I'm gonna get some torches and light this area up. Yeah, why well. did I get a lucky Betty? Honestly, it's so cruel that they don't have that. The lucky block mod guy needs to add that in. They, I mean, they have a lucky... You know, gold axe, but not a Lucky Betty. They should call it Lucky Betty, too. Alright, where is our torches? thought we had a bunch. Did we use them all? Torches? No way we use all the torches. Uh, I only have four. Maybe we just didn't make a lot. It's possible. Well, we got extra coal. I'm just gonna steal some of this. Baby. There we go. 64 torches. This Lucky torches. Sword is so OP. I literally just look at them, smack them once, dead. Just instantly dead. <laughs> Could do a road. Okay, so torch here, light this baby up, and what I just realized, Bigums, is that the more zombies you kill, the more they're gonna come. Why? Because it's one seven. They repopulate, I think. They repopulate. Repopulate. It's a scary time. I'm gonna put a bunch of this stuff away so I can start collecting more dirt in my inventory. Yeah, I'm gonna scoop up this dirt for you. Hey, Betty's hungry and thirsty, and she wants your flesh, but you don't have any, so she'll settle for your bones. Well, that was very violent. It was. I killed a skeleton. Ooh, delicious. How do you taste? Uh, well, Betty liked it. I don't. You didn't. You didn't take a nibble on them. Uh, I'll try these spiders on for size. Tarantula. It's a delicacy, a rare delicacy in the land of dinos. It actually is a real delicacy in some cultures, you know. I know. I like tarantula. You never. Have, if you've, you've tried it before. You've had it. No. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make you think I did. I was going to say, I was like, dang. I've had some crazy. really weird stuff, though, sometimes. Have you ever had, um, what's it called, conch, for real? No. 
My grandfather had the most disgusting looking thing ever. He bought like a tub, like a big Tupperware thing with like 50, like it was like 20 pounds of conch in Barbados. And it was literally, it looked like somebody, it was just the most, I, I can't even, it was so gross looking. It looked somebody took a giant slug, cut it up, and then put slabs of it all on top of each other. And that's what you ate. Like, <laughs> it's probably very good. I like shellfish, so. No, no. This thing was disgusting on so many levels. It's only a delicacy if you like gross slugs. Like, this thing looked like it was going to eat your face. It was, it was out of a horror movie. And it was really nasty. And it smelled so disgusting. Would not recommend. All right. We're going to eat one of those, Mitch. Would not recommend ever. Mitch, we're going to eat one of those. No, we're not. I mean, I tried a piece. He made me, and I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. And then he feasted on it. It was gross. Well, that's what he does. All right. How many that's layers deep that. should we make this thing? Um, I don't know. What are you feeling? Well, I say we get it all ready to go, and then between episodes, we fill it up with water, because that takes a while, like a whole lot of time. It's very meticulous, the pattern in which you have to fill it up. I don't know if you True. remember on the last Dino Series when I did it. It literally took me like 45 minutes. So Yep, I remember that. Yeah, so we'll dig out the area and make our escape route in and out so we can pick up the fish from the bottom. That's very key. And yeah. And then that's pretty much all we'll need to do for now, I think. So four deep, five deep, what do you think? Uh, I'm going to vote like six deep, to be honest. Wow. All right, we're going in big. Uh, I'm gonna make us some diamond pickaxes. Good call, good call. Now this is what's so fun with the dinos here is I love seeing the constant progression, all the new things we're adding to our yard and our, and our like exhibits. It's so cool. Yeah, and it seems like that's the fans love too. They just like seeing, you know, just things actually move along and, and new things get added to our, like I guess your our home area. Yeah, it's beautiful. Simply gorgeous, gorgeous. Marvelous. Actually, I have a diamond pickaxe already. I just don't have it enchanted. Uh, uh, I have two more levels. Ooh, baby. Oh, I just fell in a hole. There we go. Uh, one level. Efficiency one. Okay. I'll just keep clearing the dirt. When you get down here, it'll be all good for you to get the stone chopped up. The wolf really loves me. I think I kept feeding him dino meat. <laughs> there we go. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five. All right, that's good. We'll do it this deep. Five deep, six deep. Uh, however deep this is, we're gonna do it. Hack yep. You're the boss. Right. I'm just a lowly shoveler. It's all I do is shovel dirt all day. Some would call me a dirt bag. Thinking about how deep the other ones got, I'd say this is. Yeah, this is probably all right. It's aight. It's not the worst. Now yeah, this will do. This will work. We don't even know how big these guys are gonna get. Speaking of which, I should probably make sure they even became eggs. What no, if you don't remember up? last time how big they got? Are these the same ones? I think. I'm almost positive. Oh, wait. Maybe that was the Dilophosaurus. I think this is the orange guy that we once had who then died because he got killed by the really angry one. Oh, so this isn't the water one? No, this is a water one. But remember there was water ones that hated each other even when you were the same species? Oh. Uh, it's not know. that one. It's not that one. I can't remember the name of it, but it's not that one. These are the big orange guys that look like a Loch Ness monster. Hmm. Huh. Okay, right. well, whatever happens, we'll just make this, you know, fairly big just in case. Yeah. Unless it's like the T-Rex of the ocean, I'd say we'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, we're going to throw two of them in, let them wrestle it out, and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Speaking of which, let me go see how they're doing. See if they became beautiful little eggs. And we still got to get a T-Rex DNA. Let me check on the... Uh... Oh, yeah, while you go back, too, can you uh, get a trap door made for us and some ladders? You got it. Yeah, I'm going to scout these all out, see where we're at. Let's get inside. Building supplies. Store I feel like I'm like in trips. prison. Like you know when they make those guys just hammer away. Like the yeah. old timey pictures of them just hammering away <laughs> with, like a, with a ball and chain around their ankle. Obviously, it does that's not how a real prison is nowadays. But you know, what I mean, it's just like yeah, ball yeah. and chain around the ankles, just picking away at rocks. <laughs> it's us right here, Mitch. It is. It's true. The struggle. All right. So we have still no T Rex DNA. That's okay. We got way. We got a lot of things here we can still stick in the cultivator and get going. That's pretty sweet. No failure sources yet, too. That's a shock, honestly. I'm surprised we haven't run into that problem. And let's see, trap door. I need wood. And I think this is how you make it. Yep. Perfecto. And I believe we still should have ladders. I don't think we use them all. Because you made a ton of ladders, didn't you? 
Ladders? I made a good amount, I believe. Like, I think I made a couple, like 30 or so. Let me check the storage unit. Yeah, 38 more ladders in our storage facilities downstairs. Excellent. All right, I'm heading back over. Oh, let me actually, let me go over here real quick. Oh, we got a creeper on top of the cultivating room. Let me take care of that before he bombs us. Hey, you! Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God! I, uh, I messed you up. You okay? No, nah, I screwed up. <laughs> oh, no, come on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, God, another creeper! They didn't blow up our house, did they? No, well, the, the shed, the shack, the failure source shack got a little, had a little. Mitch, that was the hardest to build. It was made of dirt, for God's sakes. I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I messed up, Jeez, but I can make it better. That actually was pretty, pretty bad. I saw a creeper in the distance. Thought it was the one that I saw before. They really do have a great way of sneaking up on you. <laughs> like, of course they do. That's totally their job. fooled me. Totally fooled me. And then a second one came in and blew up again after. That was great. Thanks, Reapers. Thanks for ruining our shack. They ruined it, Mitch. It's okay. I repaired it already. I'm still picking away at the area. It's coming along. Though. I'm almost there. All right. I fixed it up. It'll be there soonish. Good. All right. Let's get back in here. Re oh, we lost the culture vat completely. I don't know where it went. That's so weird. Oh, that's why I lost it. The second creeper came and blew it up. I gotta make a new culture vet. It's forever gone. <laughs> forever gone. It's gonna be forever gone. All right, I got ladders and a trap doors. Mm -hmm. Does your dino want to live for what the? Oh, hey, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard. What? I just heard the hit marker sound and a guy falling pills. What? What's going on? What is this crazy bench doing? Drum, do we want to leave some of this uneven so it's like a coral reef? No. <laughs> I don't want to mess with these things. What if it grows too much and then, and then, and then glitches it gets, in? Yeah, it glitches and inside. Dies. Yeah, exactly. No, nope, not having him suffocate in a rock. Uh huh. Not was, today. I was really rooting for that. Sure, dude. All That's right. Wrong. Next time, then, please do it. Thanks. Stop, dude. <laughs> You're embarrassing us. <laughs> all right, all right. We're almost carved out of here. Yeah, it looks like we're getting there. Then we just got to place the ladders, get our exit strategy down. Oh, a door. Oh, wait, I don't have a door. I have trap doors. Uh, well, we need trap doors and a door. So this, this, you're right for this is how it's going to be. Just go here. A door is going to be placed here so the water doesn't go in and out. And then from there, you build a solid escape route. Dig up. And this is going to be where... Oopsies. Actually, Jerome, I want to make this look fresh. Can you can you scooch your boochie? Yeah. Scooch your boochie? I mean, your, your botsy? I don't know what I'm saying. There. I'm going to clear this. I'm going to clear all this. And now the whole squad looking. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> I was like, what? what? Did you you, can't, you can't join me. No. This is mine. Don't and mine alone. Don't Manifest destiny. And my. There we go. Perfect. I just put some ladders up there, and then a trap door at the top. Ladder away. I mean, you don't really need the trap door at the top. It just kind of adds to it. Adds a little, to it. A little ambiance. Bloop. There we go. We did it. And then we just need a door, and then I think we're looking pretty fresh. I would say so. All right, here we go. Open up. Oh, we didn't name the dog, by the way. Should we let the viewers do it? Do we trust them? I think we're going to have to trust them. <laughs> All right. So the viewer who comes with the funniest name in our mind will put a sign right there next in, and that's going to be our boy's name. And maybe one day we'll even find a name tag for him and slap it on officially. Yeah, we only have one name tag, but we're using that for our giant whenever we want to. <laughs> whenever we're ready for that exhibit. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> going to be a whole different exhibit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. Oh, I'm, I'm excited for that, though. That's going to be... Drew, maybe what we do with him is we... I know what to do. We're going to have to do this maybe, maybe even... Maybe not next episode, but soon. We're going to see this tree... We're going to fence an area in on top of the tree, and then our, our big giant zombie will be on top of our house. Yes. Um, well. Jerome supports the cause. That's one way of looking at it. Yep, and uh, that's been Dinosaurs <laughs> Episode 8. <laughs> Hope you dudes all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, let's try and continue the tremendous support we've had on this series so far. So let's go for 10,000 likes again. That would be awesome. And of course, if you're new to either of our channels, be sure to subscribe to both of us. And uh, we will see you all tomorrow with more dinos. That's right. Take care, everybody. Peace out.